pink fairy armadillo also known as Picachiego. It is one of the desert-friendly animals. It possesses pink color bony armor shell. It is found oftenly in scrooby grassland, sandy plains, and dunes. It is a super cute animal with little eyes, and it is considered the smallest armadillo species across the world. It does not use its surroundings solely for habitation purposes, but also used to hide itself from threats as it is a very innocent animal. This animal is one of the rarely seen animals by humans. The scientific name of pink fairy armadillo is Glamiferous truncatus. It is also commonly known with the name sand swimmer because of the amazing feature they had to penetrate into the sand and move underneath. It is named pink because of the pink shade it gives, it possess pink color because of blood vessels beneath the bony shell it has, also it has yellowish or golden thin silky hairs at its shell surface. Table of Contents Pink Fairy Armadillo General Overview This well-evolved creature is nighttime and singular with an eating regimen that is principally creepy crawlies, worms and snails. Specifically, its fundamental food source are ants and hatchlings. The pink pixie armadillo additionally eats different plant parts, however will possibly turn to vegetation when other food sources are not promptly accessible. The Mendoza locale is known for having both warm and cold seasons alongside wet and dry seasons. The temperature ranges are not outrageous, which has permitted to pink fairy armadillo to adjust accordingly. The moderate high temperature during the warm season would be close to 30 degrees with the winter season arriving at simply 15 degrees. The normal low would be only marginally above freezing. The conservation status of this beautiful animal is still unknown but according to Yukon it is in the list of threatened species. These vertebrates have encountered an extreme drop in populace in the course of recent decades. Cultivating exercises have commonly been highlighted as the fundamental factor affecting the pink fairy armadillo populace. In any case, predators including residential canines and felines have likewise been noted as adding to the decay. Field sightings are uncommon and singular pink fairy armadillos that have been caught in the wild will in general kick the bucket inside two days of being expelled from their normal habitat. One in particular that was held in bondage lived for over four years. Pink fairy armadillo facts one by one. Fact number one. Pink fairy armadillo has earned a surprising moniker the sand swimmer apostrophe. It was for quite some time assumed by researcher that they could swim through sand like a fish swimming in a waterway. Nonetheless, that is a legend, the pink armadillo really burrow through sand utilizing their hooks. Fact number two. Who? Of all armadillo species, the pink pixie armadillo is the one in particular whose dorsal shell is thoroughly independent from its body. It is associated with the body with just a flimsy layer, which runs directly along its spine. Fact number 3. Its bony shell contains 24 bands that permit it to twist up into a ball upon its belly to ensure its defense. While its shell is a lot gentler than and more adaptable than different armadillos, it despite everything goes about as protective layer. Fact number 4. Researchers accept the pink armadillo's shell assist with thermoregulation. Since its veins are so near the surface, the fairy can control the measure of surface region is presented to the earth to pick up or lose heat. Fact number 5. The pink fairy armadillo shell can change shading. This is reliant on the earth and thermoregulation of the armadillo. Water system of the blood can increment into carapace of the shell to help lose warmth and increment the pink appearance. On the other hand, it can empty blood out of the shell to hold body heat which makes the shell shading paler. Fact number 6. It's furnished with onstrous arrangements of claws on its front and rear legs. They help the fairy to penetrate into compacted soil. An exceptionally uncommon video beneath catches a pink pixie armadillo doing what pink pixie armadillos do best, burrowing. Fact number 7. The pink shade of their shell is because of a system of blood vessels underneath, which can be seen through the shield. This is the thing that gives the pink pixie armadillo shell its pink or pale rose appearance. Fact number 8. The back segment of their shell, known as the butt plate dash is leveled, with the goal that it can pack soil behind it as it's burrowing. It does as such to close the tunnel behind it, and make progressively open space in front so it can relax. Fact number 9. The paws of the pink fairy armadillo make it difficult to stroll on hard surfaces. In light of the size of the burrowing paws, which are in reality enormous in contrast with the size of the creature, they make strolling on something besides sand and delicate surfaces exceptionally troublesome. 
Fact number 10. Pink fairy armadillos are amazingly touchy to changes in ecological conditions and stress coming about because of it tends to be destroying. As they are named underground armadillos, any type of natural change can affect them remembering outrageous changes for temperature or soil quality. Fact number 11. As an omnivore, the pink fairy armadillo has an essential eating regimen which is effectively and immediately enhanced when required. Ants and hatchlings that are found underground make up the principal diet for this warm-blooded creature and in examples when these food sources don't exist, the pink pixie armadillo chose go to plant leaves and roots. Fact number 12. The desert-adjusted qualities of the pink fairy seriously can find the sort of natural surroundings it can involve. Altogether for these warm-blooded animals to endure, they require undisturbed areas that contain enough reduced sand and concealing spots for assurance from components and predators. Fact number 13. The body of it has a lot to do with how it can move underground. It has a torpedo shape which decreases the measure of drag while tunneling underground. Fact number 14. With exceptionally little eyes, it discovers its way around in a special way that doesn't require vision most priory. The route aptitudes of this creature come legitimately from contact and hearing. Fact number 15. Rainfall presents hazardous dangers to the pink pixie armadillo. Since it lives in tunnels, during substantial downpour the armadillo will empty the underground to abstain from being suffocated. In addition, in the event that it gets its hide wet, the pink pixie armadillo can't appropriately thermoregulation and may create hypothermia in the cooler hours short term. Fact number 16. The tail of it is something beyond a member that dangles from the back of the body. Since it is thick and smooth, the tail is utilized for equalization and soundness when every other appendage is being utilized for different assignments. Fact number 17. Environmental changes could deeply impact the whole pink fairy population. Since they have little to no body fat ratio and a limited capacity to burn calories rate, cold temperatures could bring about the annihilation of this creature. Environment misfortune it previously adding to a decrease in populace. Fact number 18. The pink fairy armadillo does not suit as a pet. Strangely, on the bootleg market, a significant number of these well-evolved creatures have been sold as pets. In any case, their low endurance rate in bondage has extraordinarily affected that training. Fact number 19. They are super uncommon, no one truly knows their preservation status and whether they are a jeopardized species. Mariela Superina a scholar for National Scientific and Technical Research Council of Argentina's conservation has been attempting to evaluate their danger of eradication and in 13 years of field work has never observed a pink pixie armadillo in nature. She has just observed tracks, which stop out of nowhere, and have all the earmarks of being the place the armadillo has vanished underground. Fact number 20. Cultivating presents two totally distinct dangers to the pink pixie armadillo populace. Notwithstanding farmland annihilating tunnels, the utilization of pesticide can affect the well-evolved creature. The pesticides hold fast to the collections of ants and as ants are one food hotspot for the pink pixie armadillo, the more one ingests, the more ailing it can get. Video showing cute pink fairy armadillo. Here are some facts about this super cute little animal. Let's have a look on some more scientific detail and steps about this creature. Pink Fairy Armadillo Habitat Pink Fairy Armadillos can be found in the deserts and dry scour grounds of focal Argentina and different land pieces of South America. Found essentially in the near-tropical locales of Mendoza, Buenos Aires, San Luis, La Pampa, and San Juan, the Pink Fairy Armadillo's geographic range is restricted to territories in the east in light of overwhelming precipitation in different areas. Since they burrow just six crawls underneath the surface, even unobtrusive precipitation can bring about overwhelmed tunnels. Because of environmental change and antagonistic conditions, it is anticipated that the current populace of pink pixie armadillos is low. The creature has been found from 1,500 meters and rise right down to the ocean level. Diet? The pink fairy armadillo is an omnivore type of animal. Their eating routine primarily comprises of ants, yet occasionally additionally snails, plant matter, and worms. The animal regularly constructs complex passage frameworks inside closeness to ant colonies, and fundamentally develops to assemble food during the evening time, reproduction and lifespan. 
It prefers to spend life alone except mating. A female for the most part brings forth a solitary youthful during a mating cycle. The child armadillo shell is delicate during childbirth will just turn out to be totally solidified once it has grown. The guys have no outer gonads and the females have two areolas. Before mating, the male will screen the female and approach her. The male will at that point contact the female's dorsal zone, which brings about the female swaying her tail. The male will continue by sniffing the female and looking after nearness. There have been no drawn out examinations led on the pink fairy armadillo life expectancy. More youthful pink fairy armadillos have the most minimal possibility of endurance in bondage, while grown-up females have the best odds of endurance. In imprisonment, the longest life expectancy noted has been 4 years. The greater part of these creatures pass on just a couple of days in the wake of being taken in, conservation status. Until 1996 the pink fairy armadillo was not recorded on the Yukon Red List as it was deficiently contemplated. In 1996, it was recorded as imperiled and in 2006 the Yukon recorded the pink pixie fairy as close to compromised. The recurrence of sightings have declined in past years, beginning before 1995. The bit of their range which will in general have the most sightings just has two or three sightings for each year. They are not being slaughtered by local people as they don't might suspect they do any mischief, and consequently don't trouble them. They likewise are not eaten and in the past they were not taken as pets since they don't get by for long in bondage. Be that as it may, as of late a bootleg market pet exchange has grown, despite the fact that they don't endure extremely long as pets. Since none of the run-of-the-mill reasons for populace decrease seem by all accounts, to be influencing the pink fairy armadillos, it is suspected that they are being influenced by environmental change. In 2008 the Yukon changed the posting of pink fairy armadillos to information lacking. Different things that could be affecting the pink fairy are not associated with environmental change incorporate huge scope horticulture, the utilization of pesticides, enormous scope animals cultivating, and household feline and pooch predation. Another danger to this beautiful species that might possibly be connected to environmental changes, may originate from fascinating species moving into the zone and out contending them for assets. Species like the pink fairy armadillo are frequently under contemplated in light of the fact that they are not charming or from the created world. There is enactment to secure pink fairy armadillos, role in ecosystem. Nothing is thought about the environmental jobs that the species of pink fairy armadillo carry, however, they may have a similar sort of impacts on soil cycling that other fossorial species show. The pink pixie armadillo is housed to a couple of parasites, including nematoda and acanthocephala. The vast majority of the endoparasites, parasites that live internally, recorded in the digestive organs, while a modest number were found in the body depression. It was believed that the pink pixie armadillo would have more helminth parasites than some other parasites since these parasites are regular in their geographic range. You may also enjoy, 